This is uh, a Bowser uh, Brill trolley that I've uh, recently uh, redone. I bought it as sort of a basket case off of eBay uh, a little while ago. And um, when I first got it, it didn't run. Um, it was kind of a mess. Somebody had painted it mostly with a brush and uh, it was just uh, it was just not good. The uh, the trolley poles uh, were missing from each end, and uh, it, it was just a mess. So what I what I've done to this thing, um, I went through it, I disassembled it, and I sandblasted it, and I made uh, I made two new trolley poles for the uh, for the unit. These these are uh, functional if you want them to be. Um, I added a, a Lionel uh, three position E unit to give the trolley forward and reverse capability because when I first got it, it was just one direction only and I've added uh, directional lighting to it so depending on which direction you want to go with the light in that direction lights up I also added uh, some interior lighting to it um, it's a simple little unit but it, it runs very well now this this is the earlier vo version with the uh, the open frame motor as, as compared to the later versions with the uh, the DC CAN motor. That's a shot of the uh, interior lighting. Now this here, this is another uh, Brill trolley I have. Uh, it's another Bowser unit. Um, this is a uh, this is a more late later uh, version of the pretty much the same thing. But this has the uh, DC motor in it, and also in this. And what I've done is I wired a, another Lionel uh, E unit into this to actually give the uh, this trolley uh, forward and reverse and directional lighting also. And uh, the unit, although it was uh, made for like an open frame motor, um, with a little uh, little tricky wiring, it works pretty well on the uh, the DC version of the motor. So I pretty much did the same thing as I I done to the other uh, trolley. I added interior lighting and uh, directional lighting to this also.